What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I'm talking about the difference between Lean and Six Sigma. There is a difference and I want you to know exactly how to respond to this question if you ever get asked. Stick around. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad and this is my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. If it's your first time here, I want to ask that you click that subscribe button as well as click, give me that thumbs up button uh, to help promote this video and my channel. If you are a returning visitor or returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching, for visiting, to, for hanging out with me just to come watch these videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm talking about something that gets brought up a lot in this community. Lean and Six Sigma. If you talk to some gurus and you say Lean Six Sigma, they might they might say no, it's Lean and Six Sigma it's separate. And in fact, they are quite separate. Uh, but I don't get too hung up on the semantics. But what I will say is this: I was interviewing recently for another job at a at a bigger company. Well, not it is a bigger company actually. So if you don't know, I used to work at Rolls Royce, and now I work at a, a different company, and um, it's more of a corporate environment. What I want to talk about is the interview process. So I went through the interview as a panel interview. I think it was around seven people. And they go through the standard questions like, can you tell me what you did in this situation or how about this situation? But at the very end, when the interview was over, um, the director of operations asked me, um, he said, listen, this is not part of the original uh, interview questions, but I want to ask you, can you define or tell me the difference between Lean and Six Sigma? Now, this gentleman was a master black belt as well, so he already knew, but he wanted to see if I can answer the question. And so I don't want you to get caught up and not be able to answer this question. And so let's talk about that right now. So Lean deals with the eight ways. Now I've done an eight ways video in the past. So I won't talk about that here. I'll just tell you that the eight way Lean deals with getting rid of the eight ways, right? You want to eliminate, sorry, you want to drive out as much waste as possible. You can never eliminate waste because waste will always be inherent in processes. Um, even when you think you've driven out all the waste, maybe a new technology arises and you can use that technology to drive out more waste. So there's always going to be there's always going to be some waste to um, to drive out to to improve upon, right? Then the six sigma part of that is about process variation reduction. So we have one where we're driving out waste, waste reduction, and one where we're where we're trying to reduce the variation in a process. Let me give an example about the variation process reduction reducing variation in a process. So let's say I'm a manufacturer and I make these bottle caps for this bottle of water. Now I, uh, my customer has told me that they want these bottle caps to be one inch in diameter. But my customer knows that I can't make these bottle caps one inch in diameter every single time, right? If I make thousands of these, they're not all gonna be exactly one inch in diameter. So what they give me is a specification. They say, okay, well you can make it 0.99 inches to 1.1 inches, right? So that's my specification. But my target, my nominal value would be one inch. All right, well, if I'm making these bottle caps, um, let's say I'm running, you know, at the, at, the, at the very tip of each customer specification. So I'm running 0.99 and 1.1. Well, that means my histogram is gonna be touching my customer specifications, which means that based off inherent variation and the 1.5 sigma shift, which we won't go into in this video, I'm going to shift outside of the customer specification some and I'm going to have some defects, right? More defects than I want because if you remember Six Sigma deals with 3.4 defects per, per million opportunities. So I don't want to create more than 3.4 defects. I want to get my process so tight. In other words, I want my histogram to be so tight if I were to take data on these. I would want my process to be producing bottle caps at like 1.01, 1.011 if I were taking measurements on these. One, 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 point, um, nine, nine, seven, point, nine, nine, eight, point, nine, nine, eight, point, nine, 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 one, 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 one. You get the point. The point is that my process is running so tight that I am creating a six sigma process, meaning that I'm six standard deviations from the from the average or the mean of my data set to the nearest customer specification limit. Now, if that sounds confusing, don't worry. I'll put a link in the description below that will take you to a video I did, I did a while back on uh, the mathematical formula for six sigma, and it explains it in sort of well, it explains it in detail and it gives, and I've gotten a lot of good reviews back on that video and it'll tell you how to calculate Six Sigma so you'll get a better understanding of this bottle cap you know, or what I'm talking about in this video. But what I'm really trying to get across in this video is the difference between Lean and Six Sigma. Lean is all about waste reduction, driving out waste in a process and the 10P wood, those are the eight wastes, which I've talked about before. Again, I'll put a link in the description below on the eight waste video. 
and then Six Sigma is about variation reduction, right? You have a process that's making bottle caps, machines that are making bottle caps, and you're trying to get the variation in that process as tight as possible. So you see very little variation. All right, lean Six Sigma. Anyway, I thought that'd be interesting to talk about, interesting to at least put out there because I know it's a big topic um, of discussion when you're out and, you know, when a lot of times people don't know the difference, to be honest with you. I teach lean and Six Sigma a lot. And one of the first questions I ask uh, in, one, in my Yellow Belt class is, do you know the difference between Lean and Six Sigma? And um, most people don't, unless they've been through some training before, and even then they forget. So anyway, now you know, so you can answer the question if you're ever asked. Again, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate uh, the support. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.